Hello everyone and welcome to the last lecture of this course. In this lecture, I'm going to explain to you how you can reset your router in case you lose the password, the administrator password. So if you don't have access to your router anymore, you don't know the password, then you cannot do any configuration on the router. And in this lab, we are going to see how we can regain the access to the router by resetting the router image, okay? By end of this lecture, we'll be able to download router OS and net install from MicroTech website. Those two things, we need them to be able to reset the router or let's say to uh, reinstall the image to be able to get to gain access to the router again. We are going to work on net install and then we are going to be able to have access to the router by resetting the password. Okay. So what we have here is uh, our router, we don't have access to it. And in this case, uh, we don't know the password anymore. And we really need to regain access to the router to be able to make the configurations. So the only idea to do on MicroTik is to really refresh the router, means to reinstall on the router a new router OS. Okay, that's the only way to do on MicroTik. You cannot recover the password. There's no way to recover the password on MicroTik. You need to reflash the router. So the router will be like a new router. Okay, it has a new image on it. That's the only way you can do. Okay, and for this, we need to have one net install. That's a software that we will see now. Why do we need it? And then two, we need to have the router OS image okay and that's really the operating system which is installed inside the router okay so this is in brief what we need to do first of all we need to connect the, uh, the router and the, the and our pc by cable i have already done that so i have a cable between my router and and my pc so it's better to put it always on ethernet one yeah and then we need to download and install and router OS from Microtech website. I have to go to Microtech website. So microtech.com. From here, I have to go to download. Here we have, we have the router OS. It's very important for you to know what is the architecture name of your router. The architecture name, you can find it from a system. You go to system uh, inside Winbox and then for example, resources, you can find out what is the architecture name. My router has an architecture name of SMIPS. I will show you when we regain access to the router and how I could find my architecture name of my router. So first thing I need to do when I know what is the architecture name is to download the main package. So this is really the router OS. I will click on it and I will download it. The second thing I need to do is to download net install. You can see it here. Okay. I will also download it. I click on it. All right. So uh, we wait a little bit till they are downloaded. Okay. So we have already done this step number two. Step number three is to set an IP address on my PC, means on my network interface card, 10.0.0.254. Let's check. I think I have done it already, but let me check again. So this is my network card here. From here, 10.0.0.254. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Now let's check if we have already the uh, uh, net install has been downloaded already. Let's check. This is net install and this is router OS. That's what I need. And here we go. Okay, so the router OS, that's fine, net install. I will uh, extract net install here. This is, I don't need it anymore. I have it here. So let's see what is the other steps we do. We do. Open net install and set net booting to 10.0.0.1. So this is net install. I'm just opening now and net install. And I have to set net booting to 10.0.0.1. What we are doing here is, if we go here to here, the graph. I have just put on my PC here 10.0.0.254, right? Slash 24. On my router here, MicroTik, I do not have access to it to put an IP, but using net install and net booting tab, I can put, uh, when it boots, 
that it received this IP 10.0.0.1, which is, if you look here, it's on the same range of of this uh, PC, then in this case, they can't see each other. Okay. All right. So I go to net, uh, net install and then net booting, boot server enabled, client IP address 10.0.0.1. That's fine. Okay. All right. Now, the step that we need to do at this time, my router is switched off till now. First, it's always important that you turn off all your uh, connectivity that you have on your computer and only leave the network interface card that it is connected to the router. So I will disable my wireless now. Okay. And then uh, we need to power on the Mikrotik router and keep pressing on the reset button until the router shows on uninstall. On my router here, on my uh, router 941, it has a, a button over here. Okay. And uh, digital reset. So uh, when I, I need to press on it and keep pressing till it is when it's rebooting. And then afterward, it has to be, and my router has to show here under D. Okay. I will do that. So I'm just now uh, pressing on the reset on my router and I'm just turning it on now. Okay. I'm still waiting now. The reset the LED, it is blinking, and that means that my router has been resetted. And I wait a little bit, and we should really see it under router, router's drives. Okay, so it should come under uh, D. Let's give it some more seconds, and it should show. Yeah, here we go. You can see. I see it now uh, here. There is my router. Router board 9412 ND. Okay. And now we need to select the router OS and click on install and wait until it's finished. So the router OS is this one that I have already downloaded. Let me put it inside the folder router OS. I put it here and then I go to uh, my Mikrotik. And then from here I have to browse to the router OS. And here we go. You can find it. It's on desktop, router OS. Okay. And then I select uh, all or I can select it only. Okay. I say install. Okay. You can see it's partitioning and formatting hard drive. It will take a few uh, seconds until it starts installing the router OS on the router. All right. We have to wait until it finished, so that's fine. Let's check what we have now. It's still working, installing. We have to wait a little bit, okay? After we finish this, we have to reboot the router and try to access to it via Winbox using the default account, username, admin, and password, nothing. Does it work? And it should work. You can see now it is transferring the router OS inside of it. It's very important that you, can, you have to reboot it after it finished. You see, I click on reboot now, sending reboot command, and that's it. We have already finished the work. We can just go to Winbox now and see if we can see it. If not, then we need to uh, reboot it manually, okay? Here it is. You can see the router has now uh, no configuration on it. Zero, zero means IPs. This is IP and then the identity is Mikrotik. Uh, so this is the default identity, by the way. Uh, admin, password, nothing, connect. Here we go. Now I have access to the router and you will see that the router has absolutely no configuration on it. It is just with zero configuration, no IP addresses, no IP DHCP. Okay, nothing at all. So this is the way how uh, you can uh, reset uh, your router and regain access to it. Okay. So I think that this is the whole lab that I wanted to show you. And by this lab, the course is also finished. I hope that you have uh, enjoyed all the labs that uh, was done in this course. And uh, I hope in the future some more courses will be done. So please keep posted to my courses. Thank you very much and see you in other courses.